Welcome back to this Frags to Riches mega challenge. For anyone who's new here, this challenge is following the Rags to Riches mega challenge rules and those rules are linked down below in the description box if you'd like to check those out. The mega challenge is a slightly more difficult version of the original Rags to Riches rules. So if you're up for a challenge, definitely give it a go. Jesse here is our founder of this challenge and we're now on part 23. So she's come quite a long way from where she started with absolutely nothing. She's currently spending a little bit of time doing her favourite hobby of knitting. And she is knitting a little pot cacti uh, as a decoration to brighten up the place because Shamble Cottage is not the most luxurious home. It was built by Jessie uh, with her own two hands. But it is home for now. Jessie and her boyfriend, Riku, who's up here in this picture with her, are trying to move house. They are trying to move to a very large plot of land the other side of the river in Henford on Bagley so that they can expand their little farm. Riku, her boyfriend, would love to have chickens and oh, they have chickens actually they would like cows and llamas and everything else that a fully functioning farm uh, entails. Jessie got back from work just a moment ago oh it looks like she's finished it she's finished that little uh, project do you want to knit another one and then we can sell one and keep one so decorations there we go We'll keep one and we'll sell one. Anyway, Jessie just got back from work and she got a promotion, which was brilliant because she did have a want down here to get a promotion. Jessie is a barista, uh, so it's a part-time position. Um, um, did she get... Yeah, she got a raise, although she's already ready for the next one. But she got a lovely bonus of over a grand. So that's really helped the pot of money that we're trying to gather together in order to move. Jessie's aspiration is to be fabulously wealthy and this is the goal we need to reach in order to move. We need 20,000 in household funds. So we're over halfway. Uh, Jessie's bonus he helped that considerably. Oh, Riku's home from his job and he is suffering in the same way Jesse is suffering and he is not enjoying his job. Oh. Riku can't help but wonder if this career is right for him. Oh. Well, no, I guess it's not right for him. But he did bring home a nice paycheck. Um, I know he wants to express his devotion for... Oh... They might both be struggling with their jobs right now and, you know, they're not happy in their careers at the moment, but they are definitely happy with each other. It's, it's more than I can bear. They are so cute. Look, Riku wants to express his devotion to Jesse. Let's see if I can find that. Express fondness, express devotion. I think he wants to go on vacation with her again. He's had that one pop up a couple of times too. What a... Oh my goodness. Well, those two are off upstairs. Oh no, and Karim just turned up. Uh... You're going to have to wait a second, Karim. Um, yeah, they're a little busy at the moment. Um, maybe, just maybe, Riku will be down in a moment. And then you can you can give us whatever this gift is. <laughs> yeah. As I said, Jesse and Riku may not be happy in their careers, but they're definitely happy with each other. Okay. Put some clothes back on and come and open the front door, please. <laughs> come on in, Karim. <laughs> oh, he bought a gift for Riku. 
Oh, okay. I had written off these two as friends. Uh, now I think I have to take that back. They are definitely... Oh, no more kissy kissy. Come on. Karim just bought you a gift. Hang out with Karim for just a minute. Invite him in. Maybe make him a drink. And just hang out. How are Peck and Henrietta doing this morning? Where are they? Oh, are you hiding in there? We've got one egg that she collected this morning and it's not hatchable. <sighs> Never mind. Oh, Jesse, come spray these new plants for bugs. These are our oversized vegetables. Where's Riku? Could you bring yourself and carry him into the back garden? We'll all hang out back here and take care of some business in the garden. There you are. Here's Karim. Oh, what was his gift anyway? I didn't actually check. Oh, he brought a violin. I really think it's time for Karim to find a girlfriend. <laughs> Might help him out with that off camera sometime. <laughs> So the trees that we grafted onto last episode, they still need to grow back. But I think we could do a little bit more grafting this episode and create some new things. Hmm. Jesse, when you finish spraying for bugs, we'll hang out with Karim in just a second, but we've got to take care of business first. Right. Let's take a cutting. Oh, I'll tell you what. First of all, We'll harvest everything. Where's Karim off to? Oh. Oh, Karim just went. Oh, sorry, Karim. Maybe we'll invite him over for dinner another day. That's it, Jesse. Harvest everything. And then we need to find the snapdragon. Aha. And we need to take a cutting of the snapdragon. That's it. Now where is the daisy? Daisy, daisy, where are you? There. I hope I've got this right. Graft the snapdragon onto the daisy. It tells you, doesn't it, if you've got it right? Daisy and snapdragon. No, no, that's not right. <laughs> I just worked out what I did. Can we take another cutting? Take a cutting. I actually wanted to graft it onto the lilies, not, not the daisies. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, never mind. Oh, we'll come back to that one. Where are the lilies? Okay, sorry. <sighs> Best laid plans. Best laid plans and that went terribly wrong. What I'm trying to do is to graft the snapdragon onto the lily. I can't remember what it makes, but it makes something. And I wanted to graft the daisy onto the strawberry. But now I think we'll have to replant the daisy plant in order to do that one. But never mind. Right, let's see what this one makes. This one makes orchids. Okay, that's good. Orchids are worth a lot. So that's great. Right, Riku's side of the bedroom is looking a little plain, a little dull. So we're going to give him one of these cacti that Jesse knitted. We're not going to give him this one because this one's legendary. <laughs> Jesse knitted a legendary item. So sorry, Riku, you get the normal one. Come, oh, will it not go up there? Oh, it's massive. Hmm. Okay, I did not realise they were this big. All right, uh, we will cheer up your side of the bedroom, but it's going to be over here on the floor. Right next to the TV that doesn't work. <laughs> that solar panel is still not doing any good at all up there on the roof. And then, Jesse, could you please list this one on Plopsy? I wonder if it sells for more, being legendary. Let's see. Does it tell you the selling price? I can never remember. No. We'll have to wait and see on that one. Oh, we have a visitor. A visitor that's offering to repair something that's broken. 
Elias. I think that's how you pronounce it. Elias, uh, you're welcome to come in and... <laughs> I'm not sure you want to come in. These two. <laughs> Ooh la la. After being swept off his feet by Jesse's flirty advances. It's not just Riku. I, I only point out Riku, but honestly, Jesse is just as bad. Riku feels like the birds are singing a bit sweeter and the sun is shining a bit brighter. How romantic. Would you say that Riku likes flirtation? Hmm. It's a no-brainer, isn't it, really? <laughs> Come let Elias in. Let him fix whatever it is he wants to fix. It is love day. I will I will give them that. It is love day. So maybe we'll just let Jesse and Riku enjoy love day. They can get as flirty as they like. Where are you two? Okay, so somebody told Jesse and Riku it was love day and they are going to take full advantage of that fact. How can we make this... Oh, look at you two. We've got work to do. If this was any other series, then we would pursue this. But we've got money to make. It's almost the evening. It is love day. So how about, Jesse? you work on just getting that skill level in herbalism up to level two. Well done, perfect timing. Maybe then she can identify those plants that have been in her inventory since the holiday. Mm -hmm. Give that a try. We'll cook a herbal remedy and then you two can spend the rest of Love Day doing your little flirty flirts. <laughs> and we'll go back to working in the morning. Where are these unidentified plants? Unidentified flower. Right, let's try again. Don't lose that book. Any chance we know what it is now? What? How do we still not know what it is? Try this one. Are we ever going to work this out? How does she still not know what they are? What are we doing wrong here? Building the herbalism skill will help. Right, in that case, plans with Riku are going to have to wait. You are going to sit and read this herbalism book until you are level three. And you can identify those plants that we found. Oh, she's almost there. Even attempting to identify those plants really boosts up herbalism. Bye, Elias. Okay, we'll get her to level three. We'll let them have their romantic love day together. And then we'll pick this up in the morning. And we'll go and sell, well, today's produce and tomorrow's produce. Oh, whoops. We overdid it on the Snapdragon. I think by taking two cuttings yesterday, um, we killed it. <laughs> I think it needs to be disposed of. Oh, well, at least it's not overly great quality. And um, we've got Snapdragon here because this is our accident. So we'll replant the Snapdragon and the Daisy. Uh, but it looks like everything has grown again. Jesse and Riku had a reasonably successful love day. Um, they couldn't do everything because they don't have a TV, so they can't watch romance TV. Um, they didn't go on a date because they'd run out of energy by the time the chores were done. But they had a good time. <laughs> so we're going to do the morning household chores, the gardening, the collecting the eggs. And then we'll go on over to Henford Village and we'll sell everything. Jessie still can't identify the plants <laughs> that she picked up. So I'm going to put her little bottom on a bench in the pretty garden in Henford Village and make her read until she is gone up another level. 
Right, so this is yesterday and today's um, harvest. We'll keep some basil. I'm still hopeful we're going to cook a herbal recipe soon. And we will sell pretty much everything else on the basis that it all grows back the next day. We'll keep this one though. We have a plantain from the spliced tree. So we'll plant that one so that Jesse and Riku have their own source of plantains. I think the garden alone is going to pay for the new house. That's 1,686. There's no oversized vegetables in this harvest. I mean, that is two days worth, so that's not bad. All right, Jesse. We are gonna go and sort out this herbalism skill. Oh, did you bring your book with you? Oh, she didn't bring her book with us. Okay. I was trying to get you out and about, <laughs> out from the uh, house and somewhere new. Why don't you? You need a little bit of exercise before we go back to reading. No, kick your football around. I know how much you love that. And then we'll go back to Shamble Cottage. Maybe you should just sit in the garden. And we'll plant up this plantain tree as well. Well, you can sit in the garden with Riku. There you go. Sit right there. And, oh, is this still... Oh, no, that's fine. The book still works. I was worried that she'd reached far enough in the skill that level one of the book wouldn't work. But it's fine. I love Riku. Look. He wants to throw a keg party. <laughs> I'm not sure he's ever going to grow up. <laughs> but I love him for it. Where are you off to? you got some more weeds. Don't tell me if something else in here has died. No, just some weeds. i tell you what. Why don't we get the plantain and... Um, you can have the plantain and there should be a new snapdragon. Why don't you... Plant this up. There we go. And we will pop the plantain somewhere here. You want to do that one too? Thank you. And then you're going to need a little drink. How's that herbalism skill coming, Jesse? Slow. Very slow. No lunch. Not yet. Lunch as soon as you finish taking care of all the plants and these chickens still haven't given us a um, hatchable egg come on you two no I've collected them for today oh Jessie's finally identified one of these plants she has identified the fire leaf oh it's a miracle anything else no just the fire leaf can we make any recipes with the fire leaf <laughs> no <laughs> we can't make any recipes with the fire leaf we need the other ones oh look at these two again stop being so cute Ooh. the finchwick chicken fair is on in the village Shall we take Henrietta? Shall we take Henrietta and enter in the chicken competition? I feel as though we should. Jessie can come too and she's going to sit on a bench in front of the pub and she's going to read a herbalism book and Riku can enjoy the Finchwick Chicken Fair. Here we are. Here we are at the fair. Oh, look at the chickens in the middle. Right, where do we need to put Henrietta? Over here? Oh, it's an egg. Hang on. I think she needs to go over here. Submit entry. Come on, Riku. I've been waiting for you to be able to join in one of these fairs. <laughs> There's the mayor. I hope she's having a better day than she was last episode. Last episode, she came over to Jessie and started yelling at her for no reason. Jessie should be. There she is. She's over there. No, don't stop reading. Oh, receive a Finchwick favour. 
And shout forbidden words. I don't think she's going to shout at you today. Oh, I think Anna's trying to apologise for yelling at Jessie last time. What was the Finchwick favour? <gasps> Pumpkin pie! That is such a lovely I'm sorry gift. Pumpkin pie is brilliant. Thank you, Anna. You're a little odd, but you're a decent person. Oh, Jessie just went up to herbalism level four. Can we identify these plants? No, no, no drinkies. Come back. Come back. You can have a drink in a minute. Put your book down. Once more, let's try to identify. We, we know this one now. This one is Fireleaf. Your level's gone up though. Come on. Poison Fireleaf. Are we finally able to identify everything? No. No. Okay. Come and. Say hello to Henrietta. Sure. She's over here. Uh, Riku's having an awkward conversation with someone. <laughs> and he also wants a drink. There is another chicken entry. Doesn't have a name. It's just white hen. Ooh, and a brown one over here as well. Jesse, come and have a look. Come and eye up the competition. Riku, what do we think of the competition? I think Jessie's had enough of the fair. She's a bit bored now. <laughs> Waiting for them to judge the competition. How about we go and find a grill and see if we can brew something? Oh, there's food over here as well. Come over here. Brew. Oh, still can't make anything. None of the things that we picked up are of any good. Are you hungry? Yeah. Have some of this. Riku. Are you hungry? No, not really. He's gone off to the toilet. I can't believe Jesse doesn't have the things we need to cook at least one recipe. We just must have picked up the wrong things while on holiday. I think we might have to put a pin in this idea for a little while. Just until we can go back to Granite Falls on another holiday. Oh. Riku, d didn't you just order a drink, Riku? I know you just spent some money. Are you not going to get your drink? <laughs> Jesse, you might as well join him. Come have a drink. What are your favourite drink? That's it, Jesse. You come and join. Come and have a drink. I'm sure it'll cut through some of the boredom if you get yourself a nice drink. Let's hope they're going to judge the chicken competition soon. The festival will end in one hour. Did they judge the competition? I didn't see anybody judge the competition. Riku, we're going to need to come and rescue poor Henrietta soon. Come here. Oh, she's gone to sleep. <laughs> Ah, oh, it looks like Anna is judging the chickens now. Finchwick Fair Reward, one veggie treat and a participation chicken competition ring. Oh, I don't think we won. It doesn't actually say who won. Oh, here we go. The chicken you entered had some bad clock and didn't win. Please accept the participation award for trying. Check your sim and household's inventory to find your submission. Okay. Oh, next week is the garden fair. <laughs> well, it was worth a try. Someone call the chicken police. I can't find Henrietta. It says she should have been returned to our inventory. I've checked Jessie's inventory. I've checked Riku's inventory. I've checked the household inventory. Even with all of the filters on that I would usually use, I can't find Henrietta. 
The Finchwick Fair stole Henrietta. That is so annoying. When we went to the fair, in the back of my mind, I thought to myself, there's a bug here. There's a bug associated with them, the fair. You're not in there, are you, Henrietta? Oh. <laughs> well, we're going to replace her. And we're going to call this new chicken Henrietta. Purchase chicken. I'm going to have exactly the same. Okay, nothing happened, no problem. Here's Henrietta, she's fine. <laughs> well, at least we have a participation ribbon. Oh, <laughs> you can't really see it on these white walls. Oh well, we'll pop that up there. Um, at least it's um, boosting the environment. And Riku also got some veggie treat. I don't think you can feed it to the chickens. So I'll have to keep that. It still doesn't replace a valued member of our household though. What did I tell you? Look, Riku wants to go on vacation to Granite Falls again. I might consider that, except it's going to take us away from earning the money that we need. Uh -huh. We're getting really close now to the 20,000, but Jessie has the wrong plants for herbalism. What do you think? Uh, let me know in the comments. Do you think we should go back to Granite Falls and get the missing plants? Or should we let it go? I think the solar panels are working. Riku, come here. You can listen to some music. I don't even know what your favourite type of music is, Riku. Do you have a favourite type of music? It doesn't like hip hop. All right, look. Come here. Come listen to pop music. This off the grid household is generating a power surplus. Objects that use power will now fully work as long as more power is generated than being used. Well, we won't listen to it for long, but the novelty. The novelty. Jessie, quick, she's just gone for a jog. Can you come back? Come and listen. We have some power. I don't know how long it's going to last for. You could dance together. I wonder if that means if just for a moment we could cook something. No, because we won't have the ingredients, will we? Yes, I don't think it'll make any difference because we don't have the ingredients. Oh well, <laughs> getting a little ahead of myself there, but Riku is enjoying it. He's enjoying having a little boogie. Can't be spending the whole day dancing though. We have plenty of work to keep us busy in the garden. I was really hoping this episode that we could get to 20,000 so we could plan for Jesse and Riku to move. So let's get as close as we can and I will check in between episodes whether or not they have enough money to move to the massive farmhouse on the hill. That is going to mean a lot more work <laughs> and they are going to feel like they're back at square one again but at least no longer limited by the size of their plot. I just spotted the flower bunny. I do hope you drop some flowers that we don't already have. What have you dropped? Daisy, we already have a Daisy. Riku, come here and be kind to the um, flower bunny in the hopes that he drops things that we don't already have. <gasps> crocus, we don't have a crocus. Share some uh, egg day spirit with the flower bunny. Oh, Jessie's um, gardening skill just went up. We need to grab that crocus and plant it. We don't have one of these. Come be next to the uh, parsley. Jessie, come here and plant these two. Riku, you keep being kind to the flower bunny. I, I don't know if it means that they'll give you something, but try. <laughs> try really hard, but there's some more um, flowers that we want. 
Uh, have a deep conversation with the flower bunny. That sounds ideal. Oh, Azuka would like to come hang out. Of course. No, don't plant that there. <laughs> don't plant random plants in the middle of the garden, Jesse. Riku, come and say hello to Azuka. She's not in a great mood. Jesse, can you try and cheer her up? Try brightening her day. <laughs> and then, Riku, you can tell her a joke because you're in a joking mood, as usual. Oh, she is really not having a good day. Um, joke about old times? Oh, Riku just told Azuka off for bullying Jesse. Oh, like a little knight in shining armor. Oh, Jesse's scuppered off somewhere. I need you to come back. I need you to harvest everything. Oh, what's down here? Okay, we're going to sell that. Thank you. We're going to take this one. And we are going to harvest everything. Riku, did you tell her a joke? No, you didn't. But you are about to wash the laundry, so I'm going to leave you to do that. Before we finish this episode for today, I'm sorry it for repeating the selling table over and over again, but sometimes it is the best way to earn money. What are we harvesting now? Oh, there's some fruit on the fruit trees. Uh, we're going to go sell all this fruit to the market stall in Henford, as usual. And then we'll do um, a little street sale. Do we have any hatchable eggs? Do we have any eggs at all? Um, we found some fertiliser. That's handy. <gasps> we have a hatchable egg! I know I shouldn't be as excited about that as I am, but I'm really excited. <laughs> Jesse, where's that egg? Come and put it in here. Hatchable egg. Incubate in coop. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. I can't believe I keep saying this, but it is another thing I haven't done in The Sims. <laughs> You'd think I haven't played this game at all. Honestly, I have. I have played this game for more hours than I actually want to admit. So, um, anyway, <laughs> let's fertilise one of these with the fertiliser that we just found. Then we'll go and do some selling in the centre of the village. Still a pretty good profit from today's harvest, 1400 that's it's going to get hard. us, oh, it's getting very close to the amount we need. Okay. Let's set our stall up. But let's set it up somewhere different, just for a change. Just you come down here, and we're going to do some selling on the street selling table. But let's just, let's just put it somewhere different for a change. <laughs> always put it up that end. There we go. Let's do it down here today down this end of the village. It's such a lovely day. Let's see if anybody comes down here. Well, look, we're in a shady spot, just in case it's a bit warm. It's not too bad. It has rolled over into summer, but I think we'll save our weekly odd job and dive in a dumpster for next episode. Let's just do a street sale, see where we are with the money and plan from there. Oh, here comes the mayor. Are we in a good mood today? Please be in a good mood today. Oh, this young girl here, Ember, just has got to want to become friends with her. She's only a teen. I love her name, Ember. Yeah, Jessie. Oh, look, she's in a, an embarrassed mood because she tried to haggle with the grocery store holder and uh, failed. So. Let's see if you can cheer yourself up and try and make a friend. Uh, flatter. <laughs> Everything's flying off the selling table without Jesse's help, so you can just stand around and uh, 
doing? What is she doing now? Oh, well, that's the flatter one, isn't it? Always looks like it's um, a flirt. Um, let's ask her. Oh, talk about herbalism. The mayor is very keen on the items on the table today. <laughs> Rave about favourite singers. I mean, she's a teen, Jessie. <laughs> See if you can find your inner teen and talk to her. Oh, there's a bit of flirting going on. Talk about cooking. Oh, Jesse, we need to stop the table. It's empty. Oh, I do like your hat. Eleanor, I love your hat. Oh, so Ember is a foodie. I wonder if that's why you get along. You do like your spot of cooking. I'd love to know what Ember's into. Let's see, hobbies. Can't seem to ask her about her hobbies and skills. Is that because she's a teen? Their conversation has made both of them happy. That's so cute. I don't think we've got very much left to sell. No. And I don't think there's anything in here worth trying to sell. These are worth so little. Well, that's it. That's all we've got. Jesse, it's very late. Let's go home and get you some dinner. Jesse, it must be time for a slice of that pumpkin pie that the mayor gave you. You've certainly earned it. We'll end the episode here for today with Jesse munching down on her pumpkin pie. She looks like she's enjoying that. We don't quite have the funds to move. It is extremely close. So perhaps at the start of the next episode, we'll be able to quickly gather up another 2,000 simoleons and pack everything up to move. The harvestables in the garden alone will probably give us the funds we need. They seem to be turning over about 1,600 simoleons a day. So that is probably... Jesse and Riku's ticket to the rundown farmhouse on the hill with a bit of luck. It seems strange that we're going to have to say goodbye to Jesse's very first home, probably in the next episode. She's worked so hard to get where she is, but she is also getting on. She's not getting any younger, so we do have to consider the next steps in her journey. Don't forget, we have a hatchable egg in the chicken coop, so we're going to need a name for a chicken. If you drop them in the comments below, then I will pick them out and we will name the chickens as they come. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you're new here, click the notification bell so you are notified every time a new part goes up. I hope you're having a lovely day and until next time, goodbye!